Welcome to the Wolver's Net, lass. Heard you're moving. We're shutting the doors of the old place in a few days and are currently renovating the new one. The doors should be open in another couple of weeks. Jennifer Charles is running themselves ragged trying a bunch of new recipes and creations. I think Cyrus and Nicole have each gained about five pounds from taste tests alone. You say that like it's a bad thing. Where is the lad, anyway? Out with his friends. Dungeons and Dragons with Patrick and Kenny and a handful of others, I believe. Table for one, then? If you want to mind, I am not in the mood to cook for myself tonight. Like I'd let you. Go on to your favorite booth and I'll take care of you. <sighs> oh, hi, Miss Bob! Lucy, I haven't seen you in months. How's college? Counting the days until graduation. Can I get you something to drink? Tea would be nice. What's happening over there? Oh, first date. I don't think it's going well. I mean, it's hard for flat-chested girls to be pretty, but you managed to pull it off. <laughs> Thank you. We're keeping an eye on it. I'll get your tea. Oh, that tuna is spicy. Well, at least I know you can swallow. <clears throat> and, uh, will that be everything for you, too? Yeah, put it on one check, would you? Gotta pay for tonight's main event. Okay. You know what? I think I'll just take an Uber home. What? I'm not feeling it and wouldn't want to get your hopes up or waste any more of your time. I just bought you dinner. That doesn't mean that I owe you sex. Honey, I picked you up from your house. I know where you live. Hello, sir. I couldn't help but overhear you threatening my guest. I think your ears are going, old man. I didn't threaten anybody. Don't start that bullshit with me, boy. Really, it's fine. Ah, now I assume you're saying that because you're concerned about retaliation. As he said, he knows where you live. I toss him out on his ass today. Who knows what he'll do to you tomorrow? Is that it? Oh, uh, well... Lucy Cub, you got his card? Right here. Why don't you give it to the Iron Witch? She looks like she's been itching to give a curse since she sat down. Matthew R. Coulson, you're hereby cursed to not get within 20 feet of this woman ever again or to have any form of contact with her until you learn to respect people's boundaries. Whoa! What the? What the? Wow. He really just threw himself off that chair, huh? Honestly, if the government hired fairies for restraining orders, they'd be so much more effective. Thank you. I can pay for your meal if you want. That is not necessary. Yeah, we still got his card, and then Lucy, you're clocking out? Yeah, want me to drive you home? Are you sure that's not a bother? Please, that's not even the worst date I've seen. Really? I'll spill the tea on the ride. Come on. Appreciate the backup. I appreciate that my dinner here always comes with the show. I know I'm usually a vegetarian, but I'm feeling like fresh lobster for my meal and the caviar for an appetizer. For two, if you would like to take a break and join me. Well, how generous of that fine gentleman. Here you go, Bob. I've got a list of potential baked goods, including the recipes for the reopening. Figured you want a whole list to choose from. While I appreciate the enthusiasm, I would like this narrowed down a bit. No more than 30 for me to choose from. Are you sure? Quite. That's why I hired you, so you can make some of the decisions and I don't have to. Yeah, okay. Trust the person with no training. No formal training, but certainly plenty of results. Your goods are a part of the reason we had enough profit to make the move in the first place. Yeah, but most of that was just me winging it. We should probably limit how much we rely on that. Would you like to return to college part-time and finish your formal education? I'm sure they'd give you plenty of ideas. Yeah, right. First, we'll have to find a college willing to take me on with my rap sheet, so good luck with that. And then I get to bury myself in student loan debt from which I will never dig myself out of. Scholarships exist. Not for ex-cons. I'm certain we can find something. Hey, no. Bad fairy. That is your I'm going to use my godlike powers to alter reality and help this poor unfortunate soul face. No. Bad. Look, you've already given me a well-paying job, a healthy work environment, a place to pursue my passions, friends, and a girlfriend. Cool your tits, okay? I've got this. I'm just stressing and venting, but I've got it. 
If you insist, but an investment in you would be little to no hassle, and you've proven that it would be well worth it. 30 recipes, you said? I'll narrow it down. Cyrus, you're more familiar with Jennifer Charles's goods. Help me narrow down which items we should have on hand for opening day. On to JC, finally make a working list. They did. It was 37 recipes rather than 30, but the thoroughness helped with their insecurity. You sure we're not putting too much pressure on the kid? I believe it's less about the pressure and more about being respected and, dare I say, actually happy, given friendship and healthy relationships without having to pay for them, so to speak. They're worried it'll be snatched away. If a herd of unicorns didn't do that, I don't know what's going to destroy our power of friendship. Ooh, the four cheese scone. We've got to do that. I got popcorn! You gonna sketch while we make fun of Fast and Furious? Probably. But look, hmm? what's this? I found a scholarship. Full ride to any community college for people who grew up in poverty. And I double checked. They've given it to ex-convicts and felons in the past. Often while they're still on probation. You said you're nervous about being in charge of Bob's Kitchen without any training. And you've mentioned regretting dropping out of college a few times. This might help. Did you use magic to find this? I cast a few good luck charms. Did you want me to do one for you? No. I can only cheat the universe so many times before I get smacked for it. I'll apply, but I want to get it or not get it on my own. Okay. Did you caramelize the popcorn yourself? Of course I did. Like, I'm gonna feed you that store-bought crap. You've taken down your decorations. We're getting ready to move. This location will only be open another two days before we close it down and place our roots in our new home. Who'd you sell this place to anyway? Like, what's gonna happen now? We sold it to an entrepreneur who wants to open a used bookstore. Hmm. Oh, you finally took down all those pride flags. Good. Don't be too relieved, sir. We're taking them with us to our new location. Oh, really? I keep trying to get my brother to come here. Your coffee is phenomenal, but he won't step foot in the joint because of all the gay shit that you're shoving in our faces. And how exactly is it shoving it in your face? Well, she kept having those flags. We get it. You're gay. Don't need to announce it. I assume that truck with the American flag on it is yours? Is that not shoving your nationalism in everyone's faces? Well, what's wrong with good old American pride? And what's wrong with queer pride? Is your girlfriend being nice? She's giving him a chance. She doesn't mind giving an education if they're genuine about it. Well, she must be in a really good mood. It's just... <sighs> it's not natural. God made you the way you are, so don't change it. In that he made me trans. Several hundred species have the ability to change gender as we understand it, and several more have same-sex mating pairs that don't harm the population numbers. We just need a few extra steps. You're not a fish, though. You're a human. Vampire. And in my 300 years, I can honestly say that queer people have always existed. Persecuting them to the point of banning marriages and committing hate crimes that are never punished is relatively new, though, and mostly done by Euro-Americans. I just... <sighs> I just don't understand it. Do you understand Mandarin? What? Mandarin. Chinese. Do you understand that? No. I speak a little Spanish, but... Does that mean that Mandarin Chinese is not a real language deserving of respect? Yeah, okay, but it's basic biology. We learned in elementary school about X and Y chromosomes and how one goes to males and one goes to females. American education is not the finest, and what you learned was oversimplified, very rudimentary science that only covers a small fraction of the whole picture. The fact is, some people with ovaries and estrogen have Y chromosomes, and some with penises and testosterone have XX chromosomes. Some have only X or only Y, some have three, and that's not touching on intersex individuals, or how sex and gender are two completely different things, with the expression of said identities changing dramatically over time. Your definition of a man or a woman would have been far from the mark just a century ago, and it changes from culture to culture, further complicating things. Well, okay, if trans people are totally fine, how come they're constantly diagnosed with mental health problems and dying by suicide? 
that has more to do with external pressures, people's hatred of trans and queer communities. It's the same reason depression and anxiety rates are higher in communities of color compared to white communities in America. If you live in an area where you are constantly have to defend your own identity, where people call you the wrong name and use the wrong pronouns, and you have about a 60% chance of being assaulted, especially if you're a trans woman or non-binary, then you're likely to develop some internal issues like PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Huh. I've always heard that the trans and gay people made us weaker. I have served in almost a dozen wars and was transgender the entire time. Any weakness or losses were primarily due to supply chain issues, lack of training, and in many instances, racism and sexism towards certain units. Not properly equipping or promoting marginalized units has shot us in the foot more times than I can count. Well, shit, I'll take you guarding my back with a rifle over some of the other whelps I've worked with. If I have to hear one more rookie bitch about how it's not like Call of Duty. Oh, that game has been both the best and worst thing for recruitment since 9-11. Tell me about it. I'll take the D&D geeks over the computer geeks any day. That's just because you like playing with them. It's a valuable training exercise. Yeah, they get strategy training and how to navigate crazy, batshit, insane situations. Exactly. Alright, the doors of the old place are officially closed and the keys given to the new owner. We now have two weeks to completely renovate this place, so let's get started. Well, you've already cleared out all of the old furniture. I assume the next item is deep cleaning? Correct. That is today and tomorrow's project. The next day we'll be painting the walls so they look less like an industrial complex. Yes! I love wall painting. And we love that you're almost seven feet tall and won't need a ladder. I might need to put the kit on my shoulders to reach the top edges, but... Put a chair on your horns so I can be comfortable while I do that, and yeah, you got a deal. I assume I'm here because I'm tiny and can fit into tight corners? Correct. After painting the walls, we'll move the furniture and equipment in, both old and new, test the equipment, stock the kitchen and shelves, give you new employees some proper training, taste test the baked goods, and also make sure the ovens don't explode. Dibs! I'm sure there will be plenty for everyone. Where are the brooms? Uh, did you hear about the boutique down the street that got robbed last week? Seriously? It's like the third robbery this month on this block. What the hell? Okay, I know I'm new, but I just wanted to check that your sorcerer boss has both magical and technological protections. Magical, yes. That was the first thing she did. Technological? Not yet. Security company's gonna come in a few days to handle that. Good. Don't worry, dragon. Your war cord is safe and sound. I wouldn't dare call a fairy's domain my horde, especially on the first day. I'm crazy, not stupid. So how long have you been married? Six years. We were going to wait a little while longer to have children, but... Well, I had other plans. Wah, 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 wah. What about you? Any significant other? I've got a girlfriend, Nicole. She's an artist, a part-time art teacher, and a witch. The coven's been working her overtime these weeks. You know those robberies that have been happening this block all month? Uh, yes. The coven's been selling protection and good luck charms, and because they're not assholes, they're not jacking up the prices beyond all reason, so everyone's getting them. And Nicole, well, she's a really damn Witch, so she's the one staying late to make them. You must be so proud. Oh, I am, 100%. I mean, she'd do it for free if Mike let her. She's just that type of person, but she ends every day absolutely exhausted, and I don't have as much time as I would like to take care of her because my husband had a crisis at work a few years ago that lasted a month, 60 to 80 hour weeks, and I'd just given birth to my firstborn, so I wasn't in much position to help, and he'd already used up all of his paternity leave, what little they gave him. Sometimes, if you can't personally care for them, the best you can do is give them the space they need to care for themselves. Do what you can, but trust that they're an adult who knows how to care for themselves. It's probably easier to do that if you're not constantly questioning why they're settling for you in the first place. Honey. You could be an 80-year-old beggar on the street, and if this Nicole is at least a decent girlfriend, she'd still be wondering why you settled for her. Well, I started today in a white t-shirt, and now it's gray. Cyrus used to do all manner of sports when he was younger, mostly outdoors, soccer, baseball, football, rugby. He would walk out in a pristine outfit and come back covered in mud and grime, head to foot. It would annihilate our bathtub and plumbing. Oh, my four-year-old does that now. 
There's a good chance she'll never grow out of that. I don't really do sports. Well, except for skiing. So uh, when winter comes, we'll probably have to renegotiate my hours. Cross country or downhill? Downhill, obviously. Why does anyone do cross country? It's a very rewarding experience. Sure. Good job, everyone. I'm very proud of you. Go home and rest up. We'll be able to start painting tomorrow. Oh, shit. I forgot my water bottle. Paul, can you open it back up? Oh, of course. Was that our back window that just got busted? I believe so.